about a month ago, we saw Ubuntu and Canonical announce their new version of Ubuntu for phones. Since then, we've seen some of it at CES, and recently got to see the new version for tablets as well. Now, the developer preview builds are out for the Nexus devices, and so I'm here to show you around the new OS, its features, and how it stacks up to the expectations. Let's get going. So here we have it, the new Ubuntu for Android. So we've been hearing a lot about this over the past couple of months, and well, it's actually, it's here now, and it's pretty impressive. So, starting off the walkthrough right here, we have the lock screen, and while this isn't really, really implemented yet, what it will be eventually is this little circle here will change with different information about your system, like right now it just says 14 tweets received. That's not really true, because there's not really a Twitter client on here quite yet, but it'll show like missed calls, texts, battery life, emails, tweets, etc, etc. So, in order to get out of the lock screen, we just swim. We can simply swipe this way from the right side of the screen, and it takes us to our homepage. So, on here, right now, it's really sort of just like a demo. Really, like these people aren't really things you can click on. It's just sort of a, an example of how things will work when more stuff is fully implemented. And that's really how a lot of the demo is. But if we look around, you can see that down here we have like popular online videos. We have like our recent music people we have recently been in touch with, and like our favorite people. So this is really kind of like the main home screen. If we swipe once to the right, we get our app screen, and you can see that I have the camera under running apps. Um, frequently used, these six apps are the, really the only ones that are implemented yet. So we have the camera, the phone, gallery, Facebook, browser, and Gmail. Now, four of these are native apps, meaning that they're running off code and not like a web app, and so the camera, the phone, the gallery, and the browser are like that. Well, the browser, I mean, is a browser. And then we have Facebook and Gmail, which are really just web apps. And then down here we have installed apps, which I don't think actually do anything. Some of them might, but they're really just, they're like, I mean, you can open them, but they're really just placeholders for apps. Like if I open up music here, you can see that once it loads, it's really not interactable at all. It just is kind of a picture of how it will be eventually. So now is a good time to demonstrate one of Ubuntu's really cool features where we can swipe from this side, we get all our favorite apps, and oops, I did that wrong, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so you can begin to see one of the issues that at least I'm having with Ubuntu, it's probably just because I'm not used to it yet, but the gestures, which is really cool, the whole OS is based off of gestures, can kind of get in the way of other gestures, like here you see I'm on my home screen and I'm swiping in between screens, but I accidentally might swipe open this pane. But anyways talking about this right here, this is your quick apps or your favorite apps, and so this is pretty cool. You swipe out from the left side of the screen, and you get all your favorite apps, as well as a home button, so you can launch them straight from here. Pretty cool, and you can also, this is really the only kind of home button in the whole OS right here. It's really the only thing that actually takes you home. And so, let's see, let's open up the gallery app. I'm going to show, show that a little bit, if it wants to load or not. <laughs> so here we go, this is the gallery. Now, none of these images are actually mine, they're just kind of placeholders put in here. So, as they load up, you can see that I took those today. So, they show up under February 22nd, I took those with the camera. And so, you can see that we have some images from around the app, we can just open those up. And this is an example of a native app that's just running on Ubuntu. And so, this is running pretty well, it's pretty smooth. Now let's just swipe up here, and it gives us, that's kind of like the menu button from Android right down here, just a swipe up gesture. If I can get it to go away. Uh, a swipe up gesture gives us kind of the menu. Whoa, what is that? I have no idea what this is. <laughs> um, but if I swipe up, you can see that we have back, edit, add, delete, and share. If I click edit, and I guess these are features that are actually in the, in the OS right now. We can rotate, crop, auto enhance. Let's see what we can do with rotate. Can we actually rotate it? Yes, we can. Okay, that's kind of cool. So there are some features that are actually in the OS. Sorry about this. Gestures do get in the way a little bit. And as you can see, things are already starting to kind of slow down. That's one thing I noticed, at least on the Galaxy Nexus, uh, things slow down pretty quickly, even when there's not that many apps open. So that's something to be mindful of. Anyways, I'm going to go back into the gallery really quickly and show you guys more of that menu. So basically, throughout the OS, if you swipe up from the bottom, it's kind of a menu action, not on the home screen I guess, but in different apps that's kind of a menu action, so if I go into the phone really quickly, I think it probably has one as well. Now this is the Sprint Galaxy Nexus, as you can see, so there's not actually any support for actual networking, no texts or calling yet, 
that works on the GSM variant of the Galaxy Nexus as well as the uh, Nexus 4, just not here. I just wanted to load this up in order to give you guys a preview, so as you can see this performs as expected. It's a dialer. We swipe up from the bottom. I guess there is not an action tied to that, but we can also launch into contacts. And since we don't have any contacts in here, I guess it does load up some sample contacts for us, which we can then search through, I guess. And then you can see the keyboard, which is kind of just a standard affair. Nothing super special, no gestures or anything. Just kind of a standard smartphone keyboard. So here's another gesture. Um, if you swipe all the way across the screen, then it'll take you back to the apps page. And also another gesture, if you want to get rid of the keyboard you, from anywhere, you just swipe down. So that's kind of how the whole OS works. There is one more side to this that we haven't really explored yet, or a couple more sides. The first is right over here. This is the multitasking. How you do multitasking is that you just swipe in from this side and it takes you to the apps where you've been recently. So now I'll load up camera and then the gallery and then the music app. And so you can see that's kind of how multitasking works on Ubuntu OS. And the one more thing I want to show you guys is up here at the top. We've got our notification. We've got like our whole pull down, but you can switch in between all the different settings. There's not really a settings app because they're all in here. So if I swipe back and forth, I can go from messages to sound to battery to networks to, to date and time. And it actually is on London. I have no idea why. And they also give us some our can't our calendar events because those aren't really ours. Those are just dummy t dummy ones put in by Ubuntu. But you can see if we go over to messages here, then we can message them back with a couple of generic ones like, oh, I'm busy, can't talk right now. Or we can actually reply to them with an actual text message right from there. Or we can call them back. Or it looks like the ability to Skype them will be in. So you can see what type of media it is. That was a Skype message. That is a message message, email, call, Facebook, etc., etc. So that's pretty cool. Let's check out some of the other settings in here. We have the sound, which is just kind of mute and volume. Over here we have networks. Oop. Networks, networks, <laughs> kind of exact right here. You can't really move your thumb at all or else it changes it. And so it's asking me to authenticate my Wi-Fi network, which I don't really need to do. And over here we've got battery. You can see the remaining charge and you can adjust the brightness on the display there. And then we have date and time, which I showed you guys. The search feature, which eventually will let you search through like most of your content on the phone is not in yet, which is unfortunate because that's one of the cooler features. But I'm, I guess that will come soon. So. Really, you can't really do too much on Ubuntu as it is right now. It's kind of more of just like a preview of how things will be once the developers get a hold of it and actually start building apps for it. And so it's really kind of a, it's it's kind of just a look forward. And sorry for the background noise, but anyways, like it's it's pretty cool. It does slow down pretty quickly, but that might just be some early optimization issues. This is, of course, the developer preview, and so it is really early, and it's not really that far into the development process. We're not expecting to see the full OS released until next or until this October, October of 2013. So that's a ways in the future, and I mean that is a long time from now. So hopefully, the developers of Ubuntu will be able to put in a lot of new features and inspire other developers to pick up the platform and put in some work there. Um, I, for one, am pretty excited. I'm not sure how this will contend with other platforms, especially if it doesn't have good app support at first. So there's a lot of stuff that we'll just have to wait and see. I, for one, am pretty optimistic about it. It's a really cool OS, and I like the gesture-based navigation. It's pretty cool, and I, for one, like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of the Ubuntu de developer, I guess, preview. And so I will see you all next time. Please like the video if you liked it, and if you want to see more, feel, fr feel free to check out our channel and subscribe. I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Round one. <laughs>